Hi everybody. Sorry it's been so long since I made a video. There's just been a lot of stuff going on in my family and, and my home right now. So I haven't been leaving many videos. Um, my cat is really sick. And he's really close to the end. He's home with us. He's sleeping a lot. And he's winding down. It's so sad. He's in comfort. He's in no pain. And that's wonderful. And he's with us. He came up on my chair and let me pat him last night. Uh, he's still drinking water. He's not taking much food in. And he's just winding down. And it's so sad because I am one of those typical people that don't have children but have pets and my pets are like my children. Even though there's people who have children that still think of their pets as their children because Pets to me are part of the family. I've had a cat for as long as I can remember and um, over half my life. And it's going to be really sad when he goes, but I know I'll keep all my memories of him in my heart. His name is Jammer, so if you could say some prayers for him. I know people think, oh, he's just a cat, but he's a beautiful cat, and he's my baby. If you could just think warm thoughts about him, that would be greatly appreciated. Other than that, I'm having a typical summer. I'm scheduled to get my paint shop for my right hip um, at the beginning of next month, and it can't come soon enough because I am in excruciating pain. I've been doing really good on my diet. Um, but I can't do a lot of walking because my hip is so bad. It's making walking really difficult, especially on hot days. I don't do too really good walking out in the heat anyway, but when you couple that with the, the great hip pain and knee pain, it makes it almost impossible. I keep pushing myself, but I know I can push myself more, but I'm trying to be a little tender with myself because I've really overdone it with my hip. But it doesn't stop me from trying. Um, like I said, I've been sticking with my diet. I have gone away from my counseling. I have been in counseling in about three weeks now. I'm scheduled to see my counselor Monday, but I'm going to make it a phone visit because with my hip acting up, I just really don't want to go out if I don't have to. Sorry, there's a loud vehicle coming. Please ignore it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be getting back into that, and I'm supposed to be getting a new psychiatrist, so I'm seeing my regular psychiatrist for the last time coming up in the next week or two. So that's a little bittersweet because you have to start over and say goodbye to someone that you've come to trust. But um, I'm so used to changing. You know, it's the one thing about where I go. They change people all the time, which, I mean... It's a good place to work, but it's really difficult when you're opening yourself up and being so vulnerable to people and you have to keep changing yourself all the time and changing people. It's hard to like reopen the wounds and go over things you've already gone through again. But I see it as a challenge that I like to take um, to just keep going with my mental health and be more free about opening up about things that have happened to me in my past and stuff. So instead of looking at it, as a negative thing, I kind of take it as a positive thing where I can speak more freely about my abuse and my traumas where I'm not hiding it inside of me so much. I don't know. It sounds like a bunch of hooey. I hope I can buy it. I don't, I'm not really buying it hearing it come out of my mouth right now, but with a little bit of prayer and deep thinking, hopefully I'll buy it. I hope you're all having a nice summer. I hope you had a nice 4th of July. Uh, like me, it's really iffy right now but this too shall pass so I just really wanted to stop and say hi to you all hope you're having a good summer um, I'm trying to and when some of these things resolve themselves hopefully I can successfully wear another smile on my face but if everyone can just keep prayers and positive vibes for my cat jammer I'd really appreciate it and I hope you're well. I love you all. And until I talk to you again, which hopefully won't be too far away, I'm sorry for how long these videos have been in delay. Um, I'll be back with some hopefully positive updates. And until I talk to you again, God bless. I love you. See you soon. Bye.